Hello everyone, Gabe here, PC community developer, and today we're excited to introduce you to a new series we're calling This Month in PC. Each month we're going to give you a quick rundown of all the latest PC news as well as what's been going on here at Ubisoft. So without wasting any more time, let's get to it. Starting off, AMD have some new additions to the Ryzen 3000 family. The Ryzen 3950X is a flagship desktop CPU with 16 cores and 32 threads with a base frequency of 3.5 GHz and a boost frequency of 4.7. Although originally planned to release in September, the release date was pushed back so AMD can focus on meeting the strong demand of the CPU. In addition to the 3950X, AMD will also be releasing a third generation Threadripper CPU. So for all you enthusiasts and Threadripper lovers, they start at a whopping 24 cores. The Intel Core i9-9900KS was announced back at Computex and is headed our way in October. The CPU will use 8 cores and 16 threads with a base frequency of 4.0 GHz, turbo boosting up to 5 GHz on all cores, an improvement over the 9900K's 3.6 base and a 4.7 all-core boost. Intel has yet to reveal the price in the TDP at this time, but you can expect it to be higher than the current price of the i9-9900K. Logitech is hitting the market with a new light-speed wireless mouse. The G604 features 15 programmable buttons, and Logitech claims a 1ms response time due to the light-speed technology when you're using the wireless dongle and receiver. You of course also have the option to connect it via Bluetooth. The mouse uses the same Hero 16K sensor used in other Logitech mice like the G502, providing a maximum of 16,000 DPI. Logitech also claimed that it can run up to 240 hours on a single AA battery. The mouse is available right now and you can pick it up for around $100. HTC has some more information to share about their new VR headset. The HTC Vive Cosmo VR headset uses inside-out tracking so there's no need to set up base stations, though it does feature a modular faceplate that allows for attachments. One of these attachments is an external tracking mod that allows you to use Lighthouse base stations. HTC promises that more attachments adding additional functionality will be available in the future. Inside the box you'll find a set of controllers featuring a new design with dual analog sticks. The wireless adapter is sold separately and a 12 month Vive Port Infinity subscription is also included in the pre-order bonus. This subscription service provides access to over 750 VR games, apps, and videos. The Vive Cosmos uses an LCD display with a resolution of 1440 by 1700 per eye and they also have a refresh rate of 90 Hz. The headset is available for pre-order now for around $700 and is due to release on the 3rd of October. Razer have launched a 10 keyless version of their Huntsman keyboard. The new Huntsman Elite Tournament Edition also comes with new linear optical switches with faster actuation by reducing the actuation point down to 1mm. Other than that, it comes with other similar features to the regular Huntsman Elite with a detachable USB-C cable, local profile saving, and, of course, RGB. The Razer Huntsman Elite Tournament Edition is available now for around $130. Patriot have introduced their new PCIe 4.0 SSD for all you speed freaks out there. The Patriot Viper VP4100 joins the growing list of PCIe 4.0 SSDs. It's rated for up to 5,000 megabytes sequential read and 4,400 megabytes sequential write speed, as well as an 800K peak read or write random IOPS. The SSD comes with a thermal sensor and aluminum heat spreader, and to make use of this, you'll need a motherboard and CPU that can utilize PCIe 4.0, such as the X570 and Ryzen 3000 series. This new SSD comes in a 1TB model that starts at $400 and a 2TB model that starts at $600, both offering a 5-year warranty. Now let's take it over to the Ubisoft news. Experience Greece like never before in Discovery Tour Ancient Greece. Walk the streets of Athens, see what all the people in the city are up to, and discuss politics with Socrates and Pericles. Set in the meticulous recreation of Ancient Greece from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you'll get to jump into the world as if it was a living museum. It's free of any conflict or gameplay constraints, so it's basically a giant journey of exploration and learning for you to go on. Discovery Tour Ancient Greece is free for all Assassin's Creed Odyssey owners or available as a standalone purchase over on the Ubisoft store. Operation Ember Rise is live and it includes two new operators, a rework of the canal map, balancing changes, and much more. You'll definitely want to head over to the patch notes because they're extensive and filled with tons of information. To quote the team directly, 
we are continuing to improve the reliability of soft wall destruction with shotguns. Our goal is to make sure that any wooden beam preventing the creation of rotation holes is consistently destroyed. By doing so, we hope to make the site preparation easier for defenders. To learn more about the thoughts behind the changes and tweaks directly from the team, you'll want to head over to the designer's notes. The Rainbow Six team are also cracking down on DDoSing, including permanent bans for those users found to be DDoSing and pursuing legal action against prominent DDoS attackers. Head over to the full article for more information. Now over to For Honor, where update 2.13 was released this month that includes a whole host of bug fixes and balancing changes, including hero reworks, map changes, and much more. Head over to the full patch notes to get all the information, as well as some developer comments to gain some insight into the changes and fixes the team has made. Now for the Division 2, where in Title Update 6 you'll have an all new way to target specific loot. The new system allows you to hunt for specific items such as specific gear slots, brand items, weapon types, and mods. Every mission and name zone will have a specific loot type associated with it, so all you need to do is check the map, find out what type of loot you're looking for, and then complete those missions or open world activities to get guaranteed drops. The system has been in testing on the PTS this month and will be coming in the release of Episode 2. Ghost Recon Breakpoint releases for everyone on October 4th, and as such, we have a load of information for you. Because a reminder is always good, here are the system requirements for the game. The PC release includes additional features and options that allow you to have the best game experience possible. The team's goal is to give you the tools you need to play exactly the way you want. They've also shared some additional information about the new content they'll be adding during the first year, such as live events, raids, new story missions, and Ghost War updates are all some of the things that you can expect. Episode 1 kicks off at launch with a new raid free for anyone to access, and a live event featuring the Terminator, who comes from the future to threaten Aroa and its inhabitants. New faction missions will provide two new narrative missions every two weeks that shows the evolution of the different factions and more. The team has also released some developer Q&As focused on stealth, the gunsmith, RPG elements, and balancing shared progression. There's tons of juicy information in there, so head over to their website to dig into them. Over in the land of Anno 1800, the second DLC season pass Botanica has been released. The DLC brings new cultural building projects to the game that involves constructing a botanical garden. The modular nature of the garden gives you the freedom to be as creative as you like. You can do anything from creating floral wonders, centerpieces surrounded by fountains, challenging labyrinth structures to create some stunning vistas. A whole host of ornaments and decorations are also available from traders, quests, and expedition events. The botanical gardens do provide a practical purpose beyond city attractiveness though. Creating certain sets of items may grant you new fertility on that island, along with production boosts for farming. Thank you for watching everyone, we hope that gave you a quick rundown of all the latest news as well as Ubisoft PC news. As always, if you have any other comments or feedback, please let us know in the comment section below, but until next time, bye.